How is everybody doing today? It's your boy Swamp Fox, and today we had to jump in here and try this new mode on COD Cold War, the outbreak mode as they call it, where it's kind of like zombies in the real world. They just running around doing their own thing, and you kind of got little different objectives you can run around and do to kind of make things a little bit more fun. It's a very challenging mode, and I quite enjoyed playing it a lot. I'm going to kind of show you all a little bit of what we got into kind of give y'all a little bit of info about what goes on in this mode. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Need an I didn't even know it was low. I guess one of them did it once and I just killed it. One of the events you can do is they got little crates around the map. You can come to one where you can try to prove yourself to the North Easter that you are worthy. Really what this does is it spawns a bunch of zombies and a couple box zombies. And from what I've gathered from it, all you really got to do is kill the box zombies to be able to progress and get your crew over there. Now they do spawn a bunch of zombies in and these new floating teleporty guys are a pain in the butt to kill. Where are you at and what are you doing? Now with the boss zombies dealt with and all the other little annoying zombies dealt with, you can proceed over to the box and collect your reward. It's usually just a full power, stuff like that, some armor and salvage, nothing too fancy, but hey, it's a reward for doing that job. Another side quest you can do is you can find a dead soldier on the ground somewhere amongst the map, and you can kind of revenge him for getting ambushed by a bunch of zombies. It's nothing too hard, just kill a couple bosses, stuff like that. It'll kind of show up on the map as a little treasure chest box with a skull icon above it. All you want to do is head to that, activate the audio clip, and then kill the zombies that spawn. It's a bunch of bosses, stuff like that. Nothing you shouldn't be able to handle. Once you do that, you do get a free perk out of this one, so it's kind of worth it. Sweet. I got uh, the one with the bullet going through this, the head. Yeah. So I got the one with the bullet going through the head. Yeah, I don't know the name of it. I only know Pack a Punch. That's the only one I know the name of. Now, with the side objectives done, it's time to kind of explain some of the main objectives you have. You have a bunch of different main objectives you can do. I've only got maybe four of them so far. The first one we got is you got to deliver some of the Ethereum canisters to a rocket to have it shipped off. I really couldn't explain that any better. Me and Popsy try to get the two canisters. I try to cover her while she gets them. She decides to loot some stuff first. Ain't nothing too out of the ordinary there. She gets knocked down, unfortunately. I pick her up and we get the first canister took and delivered. It's nothing too complicated. When you have the canister though, it's nice to mention that you do have slower movement and stuff, so kind of be aware of that. Kind of have somebody with you that's willing to walk behind you and cover you and keep the zombies off of you while you deliver the canister. Oh, good lord. Once both canisters are retrieved, you'll simply just take them back to the truck. Don't forget you gotta kinda take them back one at a time. But after you deliver both canisters to the truck, it kinda ends it. You more or less got just a little watch sync what you get to watch. I tried to shoot a rocket down just in case it may have had a hidden easter egg in it like the Sitchin used to when you could shoot the rocket after you launched it. So I just figured I'd give it a try. You never know. It don't always hurt to try, but nothing happened when we shot it. The next world we entered had a little dragon relic up here that we could kind of feed and now this gave me some mob of the dead things where you used to have to feed the dogs on the wall but it ain't nothing too difficult they do come pretty quick from every angle so just make sure you kill them in the circle make sure they got the purple light so you know it's going to feed them after that you may get a self revive stuff like that other than that the little dragon will launch he'll take off get out of your hair and you'll get some more rewards 
some more salvage stuff like that. Nothing too special, but it's something to do in the map, and it's kind of intriguing and fun. You can also run over zombies, dogs, anything in vehicles. It's pretty entertaining. Quick, straight over every single one of them. Now, the main objective we had at this situation, we had to collect a zombie head, put it in a machine to extract data from it. The only thing me and Dr. Blue could come up while we're doing this is to try to figure out why the zombie is the way he is and what makes him do what he does. Once you put the head in, though, big surprise, you're going to have a bunch of zombies come towards you trying to kill you. You'll have a couple boss zombies. Just defend the machine, don't let them get to the machine, and protect it as long as you can. Just make little circles and stuff like that, making sure to keep the machine clear. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward with this one. Something to kind of mention there, everybody, as you progress through different worlds, the levels do get harder. The zombies do get more difficult to kill, so kind of be aware of that. Keep your weapons up to date, keep your armor and all of that. Oh no! Upload complete. Dr. Gray, can you confirm? All genetic data collected. Our lab boys will appreciate it. One of the other ones we ended up getting is we had to escort a drone to try to deliver a specimen to the dark ether. Now it's kind of a strange one. You'll go through two or three different anomalies following the machine. Just make sure you keep the zombies off of it. It does have a monkey in it. It's a pretty cool little objective here. What is that? I wish you could jump on top of it. <laughs> you know the zombies floating in the air, do you see this? Turn back, look! Do you see that? Do you see this right here? Once you finally make it to the last one, you'll have a bunch of zombies spawn. I kind of had a napalm to make it a little bit easier on us. But other than that, just kill them as they come. Remember to keep them off your machine. One of the last objectives me and Dr. Blue had to do is we had to try to survive and hold out in a house and keep zombies away from us as they was coming. Now this is kind of where we ended up going. One thing that does happen is the further you progress in the game, the harder and more difficult the enemies get to kill. So kind of be aware of that. Kind of keep your weapons ready for that. It does get kind of hectic and kind of hard at some point. I can't. Uh. So there it is everyone. I want to thank y'all for taking time to watch the video. If you haven't tried this mode yet, I highly recommend it. It's fun, challenging, and a new twist on zombies. Y'all have a great day and stay safe.